Hey guys, how's it going? Happy, what is it? What is it today? Uh, Wednesday, happy Wednesday. I came out here by special request because apparently I haven't been doing enough really sweaty vlogs post-workout for some of you. So I came out here, I haven't even done my stretch yet. Ah! There you go. And I might add, here's all this energy I got going on. Remind me to tell you about this in a second. I gotta turn this down. <laughs> I am, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, this is day three of no coffee, no soda. So, and I also have to do um, a caveat because, hold on one second. I mean, I can't say that I have no caffeine whatsoever in my body because the scoop of this that I take in the morning, I believe has some caffeine in it. Um, I will have to look. Anyway, I'm 99% sure that there's some caffeine in here. So really, overall, my point in, you know, doing this no soda, no coffee thing is really more about kind of uh, going through a, a, a detox in, in some ways and really just seeing what I can do. I don't think, I do think I can seriously quit soda. I've done it before. Not that I want to. I'm just being totally honest with you. Um, but the coffee thing, you know, I told you I've talked to Corey about this. I've talked to other people. Coffee in and of itself is not um, horrible for you. Drinking coffee all day, you know, and there's two things about coffee, generally speaking, that I've learned. Number one, for most people, um, you know, drinking coffee means going to Starbucks or Caribou Coffee or some other place and getting, you know, the frozen frappuccinos that have whipped cream and all of this stuff. And sometimes that, those kind of drinks can be 500 calories. Easy. Your average, even if you order in a healthy way, like when I go to Starbucks, I get a venti soy, um, some people like soy, some people don't, whatever, chai latte. And I believe if I'm correct, that's 220 calories. Um, so I would say even your average healthy drink is going to be 200 calories. You have three or four of those a day, that's a lot of calories that adds up. Because people don't think of that as a meal or a snack, they're like, I'm just getting the coffee. So there's that, and then number two, the kind of person that drinks, this is this one. Um, there's the kind of people that drink, like say you're at an office, and you drink coffee at your office all day, and you just keep refilling it. If you're drinking a ton of coffee and not chugging water all day, that can dehydrate you, and that's when it's, you know, you can't go, oh, I'm drinking coffee, that's my water. Um, there you go. Someone's texting me. Anyway, I, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shoot this video really quick and quickly, excuse me, that was improper grammar. And what song is this? But I'm probably going to jump around and do a bunch of more crazy stuff in my house to burn a couple hundred more calories. But I wanted to come in here, A, while this is on my mind, and two, Oh, it's that song. Okay, sorry. Um, well, this is on my mind, and then also because so many of you are like, you don't do your sweaty vlogs anymore. How do we know you're really sweating? So, here you go. It's my gift to you. Um, let me turn this down so I can make my point. Uh, okay, so here's the deal. A couple things, and I almost feel like this would be really stupid, because I just feel like continuing to move. Look at this sweaty mess. See what I do for you people? You see me at my lowest. You see me at my absolute lowest. Anyway, a couple of things. I have to buy new uh, gloves today when I'm out because for some reason, this one, the sand inside has gotten hard. And even if I wet it or whatever, I don't know if you can see. You see how it's making my, right there? There's like a bump. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe you can't see it as much. That is my poor little hand. Right now you're watching this going, what in the hell have I turned into? Anyway, there's a bump there and it's very swollen because of that thing banging on my uh, whatever. So I've got to buy some new, maybe, oh, look at all that sweat. Um, 
So that's point number one. Now, a lot of you guys have been writing me and saying, you know, thank you so much for sharing, you know, your weird mental tips and whatever and what's helping you. And, and it's, it like makes my whole day when so many of you will write and go, you know, I've been watching you for a while, I've been reading your blog, and now you've, you've encouraged me because I see that, you know, you're doing it in your 40s and, and it's encouraging me to get up and, and start moving. So like that makes my day. Because you guys know, if you've been, if any of you have been watching my videos or reading my blog, I think I started back in 2007, you know, there was that period when I hit perimenopause. I didn't know I hit perimenopause. There's like two, two and a half years there where I was just a lost soul, you know, and I was depressed. I don't want to say really depressed, um, meaning just kind of bummed. Let's put it that way. Um, in a bad place, not motivated. I kept, I was mentally motivated, but I ha wasn't putting everything together and I was down on myself. So things are different now. And really, the more that I keep feeding myself good stuff and, and refusing to give up, it, everything builds on on what you started, you know, and when I started the end of last year, there's something to be said, and they talked about this this weekend at, at Tony Robbins, I almost feel like I have to keep my heart rate up a little bit, um, they talked about this at, at Tony Robbins, I can't do that because watching this video, if I'm doing all this stuff, it's going to really freak you out, um, they talked about, what was I just going to say, uh, oh god, no, I lost my train of thought because I started working out, um, Oh, you have to keep, um, maybe that was the point I was going to make, there's several points, um, how you have to keep building on what you started. You don't just, like, I don't just go to a seminar that was amazing, like this weekend, and then go, oh, okay, well, I'm motivated, I'm fixed, so that's it. You have to keep feeding that, and what I've been doing when I, oh, that was it, making the decision. You know, that sounds funny to say, I made the decision, and that's a big part of this. It is a big part. When I came home from that, and I made the decision Sunday night, and I said, or maybe it was Monday morning, I said, I'm going to not do coffee today, and you know what? I think that I can not do coffee and not do soda, and, it's, and I can do it. I made the decision. There's something that you have to do to make the decision. You can want to do something, but you've got to first, like, say it to yourself and be really strong about it. Like, I've made the decision, I'm doing this. I told you that I found myself this weekend looking at myself and seeing how much I still, and it surprised me, how much I still try to take the easy way out and stuff. You know, Amy asked me to do the rock and run marathon in, in Vegas and my first thought was, oh, you know, I'm really not gonna have time to train for that and I'm really not a marathon person. You know what, I'm gonna do it. And I've made the decision, I'm doing it, period. I'm not a marathon person. And you know what? Doing that might change my mind. I'm going to leave myself open to it. Why close the door and lock myself out of something? So here's the thing. Back to building on what you started. I made the decision the end of last year. I love this song. Um, God, I'm at eight minutes already. I made the decision the end of last year that I was going to do this, that I was going to stick with it, be committed, not give up, be consistent, get some good people giving me input. We started with Dr. Mike, Todd Bumgardner, um, who gave me you know, a program and a, and a diet plan. And I started you know, committing to the process, even when I knew, you know, I assumed that it was gonna be a while before I'd see results. And that's hard. It's hard for me, especially, you know, I own a fitness company, you know, and, and here I have all these goals and I'm so ins I've been so insecure. I still am insecure about a lot of stuff. Anyway, when you make that commitment and you, you keep going, even when you haven't seen results, you start to get proud of yourself and you start to go, you know what, I did a whole week of this and that wasn't that bad. And then that, enc that encourages you and so you build on that and then the next week you build on that. And so then, you know, when I went into January and I started doing like the more hardcore diet, if you will, um, with a certain person, that I was able to, to do that with, with ease or a little bit more because I was like, you know what, I already did that kind of like going to Tony Robbins seminar and walking on fire, you're like, really? You think I can't do that? I walked on fire, dude, okay? So, here's the thing. I got up this morning, and I think many of you know, with being gone at the seminar and then before that, you know, whatever, being sick, it, it's been a while since I've gotten on the scale. And part of the reason that I haven't gotten on the scale is because the last time I weighed myself, I was 137, I was so psyched and I was amped. And you know, the past several weeks, as I've been doing my workouts and my yoga in the evening, I have noticed the way my body feels. I've noticed more good changes. Um, I, my clothes are getting more loose. Um, so in other words, I'm walking around, I'm seeing changes in my body and I'm happy. And frankly, 
I was like, you know, I'm gonna get back to weighing myself, but I just kept thinking, oh, I've probably lost another three or four pounds. Guess what? I got on the scale this morning because my mind was going, you haven't weighed yourself in a while. And I was like, yeah. And, and in my head, I said first, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for a week of doing no caf no, no caffeine, you know, no Coke, no, um, that sounds bad. If somebody just plopped in here and heard me say no Coke, no Diet Coke. Um, no coffee. Um, so I thought, I'll wait a week. And just because of my brain doing that, I'm like, get your ass on that scale. And here's the deal, people. What do you think? I'm getting ready to step on the scale, and usually before I step on the scale, this is just kind of a dorky thing. I'm always like, please let it be less than that last time. <laughs> so I gotta get on the scale, and it was a lot more than it was before. It was at least four and a half pounds more than I was before. What was I at? I wrote it down. Was it 141 point something? And I'm like, so of course I stepped on it three times because each time I weigh myself, I will weigh myself, you know, get off and on three or four times because the scale sometimes, you know, used to, I have a digital scale. Uh, but anyway, I got off and on several times and I was like, mother, there were a lot of words going on in there. But immediately I got mad, of course, who wouldn't? Um, but then secondly, you know, I chilled out and I told myself, okay, number one, a, this could be just today. You might weigh yourself tomorrow and it could be down. But number two, this is just one part of how we're measuring our success. Of course I'm going longer than 10 minutes today, you guys. I'm sorry, I'm on fire about so much of this stuff. I had just taken my measurements last week. When I took my measurements last week, compared to the last time I took my measurements, I'd lost another inch on my waist, another two inches on my lower hips, another inch on my middle hips, and another two inches on my upper hips. So I lost all those extra inches, yet my scale is showing four pounds more, okay? You have to be able to, to step back and calm down. Now, let me put that out there. I didn't work out for four days when we were at Tony Robbins. I ate a lot of like, I'm gonna say crappy food, meaning um, protein bars, a lot of packaged food, stuff that I'm not used to eating. Um, it, it could be that I'm dehydrated, bloated, whatever. It could be anything. It could also be that I gain, it could be any of things, gain muscle, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying that to make excuses. What I'm saying is instead of using that and getting all depressed, if this was two years ago and I got on the scale like that, I would have, instead of thinking about, okay, Kelly, how do you feel when you look in the mirror? How do your clothes fit you? How, think about last week when you measured yourself and you've made even more progress regardless of what it says on the scale. I would have focused only on the negative. I would have focused, mother of God, see? And I would have gotten flip, flipped out and said, oh my God, see, there it goes. I can't do anything right. I'm never gonna lose weight. Okay, here's the deal. Wow, look at, there's a lot going on up there. Here's the deal. If you focus only on the negative, like right now, if I focus only on the fact that I have this blister that I popped like a moron on the bottom of my foot and how it hurts, I would not be working out. I would not be doing what I could be doing. Guess what? I could do a whole hell of a lot. I'm not doing my running because I think that is a bad idea. But I did my turbo fire. I'm going to get in. As soon as I turn this off, I'm going to sit around here. Sit around here. I'm going to turn my music up. I'm going to jump around like a maniac and dance in my house and burn another couple hundred calories. I'm going to kick ass because I can. I'm not going to focus on the one thing that's stopping me. And when I weighed myself today, do you think I wanted to come in here and shoot this video and tell you that I, you know, my scale is up four pounds? Do you think I'm excited? No, I'm telling you this because it would be disingenuous of me to share this journey and be like, oh yeah, you know, the scale's down and it's just kept going down. I want to tell you this because I know a lot of you are going to go through the same thing as me. And remember, I've been talking about this since January. The scale for me started up here and it would go down a little bit and then it would go up and then it would go down a little bit and go up. Many people lose weight like this. This is me. It's literally like I'm pulling a rope, like, come on, come on, you know? So you have to be patient with the process and you have to, this is my second little thing. Maybe I'll shoot another video about this. I'm gonna make my other point. I'm gonna give you a teaser because I'm gonna go jump around a little bit more. I'm gonna shoot a second video today. I know you're excited about this, but my teaser for the next video is talk to yourself like a trainer. I'm gonna close up under 15 minutes, at least, at least I'm not doing 20 minute vlogs, people. I'm working on 10 minutes, but I got so much to give right now. I'm, ah! So I'm gonna go jump around. Look at that hair, look at that. See what I do for you? I show you at my lowest point, but at my lowest point, even at my lowest point, I'm at my highest point, because there really is no low point, is there? It's just a starting point. Wow, that was profound, wasn't it? Not really. <laughs>